Okay, Mrijasana B. So this is a pose that requires quite a bit of flexibility in the hip. And if the hip isn't flexible enough, then half lotus doesn't happen and then this pose becomes impossible. So a lot of times this pose is more about preparing the hips for half lotus than it is about taking the full, full expression of the pose. So the way we prepare the hips is we take the left ankle, this is one modification for the pose, take the left ankle above the right knee and then bend the right knee to the ceiling. So this is the preparation for half lotus on the left side. Then when you come into this pose, you take the hands behind you and the tendency is to dump into your low back. Instead, you wanna lift your chest up and open the chest up so that you're working the stretch into your left hip. Left foot stays really flexed and active. So you could stay here for at least five breaths. I recommend even longer. And then the modification, another modification is you can point the toe Bend the right knee to the ceiling, take the left foot in front of the right buttock. Bend the right knee, take the right foot in front of the left foot. Now you have your knee over your ankle. You can either stay upright here or reach forward. If your shoulder comes past your knees, then you'd squeeze the knee into the side body, take the arm up, turn the palm open to the ceiling, and then reach back for your left fingertips or wrists. So the benefit of taking this modification is you can work on the bind. It would be an inhale to lengthen and an exhale to fold. I recommend doing rotating between those two modifications. Marijasana B, you bend the, take the right leg straight. First we work on opening the left hip up into lotus. So remember the left thigh bone is coming into a lateral rotation you work the heel in towards the navel so that we're therefore closing the knee joint up. Take the outer edge of the foot into the hip crease and press the baby toe side of the foot towards the hip crease. So remember not to sickle the foot. Don't let that happen. If you feel any pain in the knee joint, inside the joint, then you're probably better off working on the modifications or not going into the full pose. Um, take the weight into your left hand. The right hip will lift up off the floor. You bend the right knee and set the right heel in front of the sitting bone. So you may stay here, upright, breathing. If you feel like you can handle a little more, you're not feeling pressure or pain in the knee, then you reach the right arm forward. If the shoulder goes beyond the knee, then you can take the arm around, turn the palm up to the ceiling, reach back, take hold of left fingertips or wrist. On an inhale, you lift your chest up, keep pressing the baby toe side of the left foot into the hip crease, and on an exhale, you fold forward, reaching your shin towards the floor. Five breaths, it's one, two, Three, four, five. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. And you'll take a vinyasa from there.